Hey gang, Martin here with CornerMingUSA.com and I was just about to begin the process of folding over this 1960 Benjamin Franklin half dollar. I used the washer here of course with the uh, CornerMing center punch that I have and with this one here it's not so evident um, that there's any kind of slop, um, slop meaning play, but if you take a look closely you can see a little bit of movement there. And what I like to do when there is a little bit of play uh, in here, and uh, granted you could probably get away with this, um, I'm just pretty picky when it comes to making sure that I've got that center hole dead on. So a quick little tip here, I'm not sure if you've seen that or not, but uh, you simply just take a piece of paper towel like this right here and before you uh, punch your hole in your coin, of course you anneal it, quench it, take the piece of paper towel, simply put it over the washer center washer, take your coin and push it in really good. You can lay it flat if you want. Then, obviously you've got a lot of extra here, you can then go ahead and just cut off the excess so it doesn't get in the way of your center punch. Now that little bit of extra paper towel in there has taken up the slack in this washer here. Um, again, very simple tip, but it's something that really can make a big difference when you have a coin that has some slot, that has wear patterns uh, around the reeded edge of the coin due to the fact that it's been circulated. And going along the same line um, as using a piece of paper towel for uh, the center punch kit before you actually punch a hole, once you've made the hole in the center of your coin if you've got my uh, stabilizing reduction dies, this one here is the 25 cent 50 cent stabilizing reduction die, you can see the same sort of situation here uh, with a coin that's worn around the reeded edge part there might be just a little bit of give from side to side, not a whole lot in this case here but the same rule is going to apply. I'm going to actually take another piece of paper towel cover the top of, on this case here, the 50 cent side of the die, push my coin in, then I'm about to fold over, and then just holding the coin and the die at the same time on both sides, just so I can see what I'm doing, not that big of a deal, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove the excess paper towel around the die, so this is what I'm left with. This way here, if there is any wear around the coin due to the fact that it's been circulated, you now see that you have a really, really snug, super tight fit. And of course, the same situation can apply if you're using the 25 cent side of my stabilizing reduction die, or if you have a, a Morgan or a Peace silver dollar on this side for the dollar side, and on this one here, ASE, of course, for the American Silver Eagle, which typically you don't see too much obviously in circulation, so that won't be much of a concern. Uh, all these these two uh, reduction stabilizing dies are all machined to very tight tolerances, but again, not everybody's using coins that are uncirculated. But again, just a quick tip I want to bring to you guys. Um, thanks a lot for all the suggestions. Keep the suggestions and the comments coming. You can check out my blog at coinringblog.com. Go ahead and subscribe in the lower right-hand corner and keep them coming. Let me know what other uh, quick little video tips you guys want me to shoot. This has been an awesome one. I think this will really help a lot of people. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.